This is Seasons of Discontent with your hosts, Rick Snyder and Matt Cones on the Hogstein Network. Welcome to Seasons of Discontent. It's season four, episode four, brought to you by Rick Snyder's Washington on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. I'm Rick Snyder. And I'm Matt. And we're back discussing all things Washington sports and life simulcasting with the hog style network and video as you see here on the youtube so matt and i are doing the mock draft because there aren't enough of them out there i'm sure you're desperate for yeah. you know my opinion on this so i had to i had deron Payne the one year they took him what 13 or something i had i was the only person to have deron Payne. wow uh, so i i do nail one here and there uh that yeah. draft, I had him taking Vita Vea, and I'm glad they didn't because <laughs> I know he's won a Super Bowl, but he's been hurt ever since he came in the league. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll I'll, I'll go first and say Trevor Lawrence. We'll go to Jacksonville. Oh, man. You're going out on a limb there. <laughs> um, all right. With the second pick, the Jets take quarterback Zach Wilson, BYU. Yeah, you're on the same branch I am on that one. Yeah, for sure. Right. I mean, you know, look, it, that was kind of written in stone when they traded Darnold unless they want another quarterback, but the only time they ever hear that maybe they won't do it, they're screwing with the agent over salaries. Mm -hmm. But now we've gotten in such a slotting system that yeah. you don't have that many holdouts anymore. But I will say this, it is the, it is the jets. And I, I mean, they didn't have an ESPN special about the draft, the jets drafting <laughs> woes for no reason. I yeah, watched so a 30 for 30 about the jets drafting when they passed up Warren Sapp for some random tight end. Well, they, they have like 10 straight years of first round picks playing elsewhere. They traded yep. them all. Yep. Wow. I mean, that's just insane. Yeah. That's and it's funny. It's, it's, you know, that's what's funny to me is, you know, everybody's like, oh, well, the Washington football team is a disgrace and they can't draft and blah, blah, blah. It, it, look at the Jets. The Jets are terrible at drafting. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> the, the best, amazing. the best draft pick that they've made over the last couple of years was Mark Sanchez because he took him to two straight championship games. And then he had the butt fumble, and now he's a laughing stock, and he's out of the league. So, uh, all right, number three, 49 ers to trade it up. I'm not going with this Mac Jones crap. I'm saying Justin Fields. Hmm. I just think I think you don't trade up to three to get Mac Jones. No, and I'm in agreement with that. Um, with the fourth pick, Atlanta. I say they go out and they take Lance because I don't. I I, I think they want to dump ryan's salary next year and he could be a he could be in play here <laughs> well and lance is a, a great developmental pick he hasn't played very much right so it would fit that you could put him behind ryan a year it, it does a lot you have to give up the chance to go for kyle pitts man that one hurts but you know quarterbacks are quarterbacks i know they'll get offers to to trade i think i don't know now that we're at the gun here i i'm going to stick with that with Trey Lance also. Yeah, but see, and I, I think, like you said, he could be a developmental project for a year. He could sit behind Matt Ryan. You dump Matt Ryan next year, and you get rid of his $20-some million salary. Plus, you set Lance up for success with two really good wide receivers. Yeah, it's going to be number five, Cincinnati. I've said for weeks, you know, Panay Sewell. And now we're at it. I say, no, Jamar Chase of Ohio State. Reunite that quarterback with a target. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, it's hard to pass on left tackle, but I think they will. I mean, they'll go with the wide receiver. Yeah, I mean, it's smart to bring Chase in with his connection to Burrow. So I'm kind of in agreement with you there. Uh, six is Miami. I know Miami wants to go defense, but uh, it, it, I, I'm with you on this one too. I, I hate to say it, but Miami cannot pass up Kyle Pitts, and you're going to uh, you're going to team him with. Um, God, I can't think of their other tight end's name who made some pretty decent plays. Gal Galaxy or Galaxy or something. So you you can run a two tight end set down there because, I mean, yeah, they have Devontae Parker, but you really don't have – and and what they signed um, – did Marvin Jones go to Miami or did he go to Jacksonville? I can't remember. He went somewhere in Florida. But you can run a two tight end set and really set two up for success. Yeah, I mean, it's, you're going to get yourself maybe the best player in the draft. So mm -hmm. I go for that. Number seven. I know people have talked about Detroit going quarterback, but mm, now you're down to the fifth quarterback. Um, you know, I could see. Well, let me say this: with Miami, I could see the, 
uh, Dallas trying to trade from 10 to get him. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jerry wants Pitts really bad. Yeah. I mean, I think that's a possibility. But seven, I'll go Jalen Waddle to Detroit. Good playmaker and all that. I mean, you traded for Jerry, you traded Stafford for Goff. You've got to give Goff weapons. Right. And they lost both of their top wide receivers in free agency with uh, Galladay going to New York. And like I said, Marvin Jones going somewhere. I, he went somewhere in Florida. <laughs> I think it's Jacksonville. Who you knows? Everybody disappears in Jacksonville. I know. It's a great place if you want to. I had to cover some games there. It's a great place if you need a CVS. There's one on every corner. And unfortunately, there's about a thousand lights between you and the ocean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Other than that, you know. All right. So, eight, Carolina. I have a feeling we're going to separate here. Where are you? Yeah. Are you I would say, honestly, Carolina has to get Darnold some weapons. Uh, they lost Samuel to the Washington football team this year. Um, I say they go Devontae Smith or Devonta Smith. Yeah. Wide All receiver. Right. I'm calling a trade. Washington moves up. Mm. There's Panay Sewell. I know that if, if Sewell's gone, if Cincinnati takes him already, then I got a plan B later down the draft. But right now, I think Washington goes for Sewell and gets that offensive tackle. Um, and they just have to move up a lot to get him. But I, I know they like him, and I know they like the linebacker out there, too. Parsons. Michael Parsons. You know, but if they're going to trade up, I think that's one of the spots. Eight is is one of them. Because other people are going to grab a tackle, too. Um, you don't want to end up having the fourth tackle. You know, that's not what you want. Hmm. All right, so nine is uh, – I'm going for Denver, for Sean Slater. You know, good tackle. So, ten is Dallas, supposedly. Dallas. Well, look, I'll say this. If they can't get pits, if they don't trade up to get pits, I think they trade out of the 10th spot. Um, obviously, they're not going to trade with Washington because they're not going to trade individual. This is where I could see uh, Belichick making a big splash, going in, getting uh, getting Mac Jones and letting him sit behind Cam for a year. I I'm in agreement with you on that one. All right, yeah, because I, I pull the same trigger. I think I agree. If they don't get pits, then they trade down. Uh, for Mac Jones uh, to New England to get Mac Jones. New England needs a quarterback, mm -hmm. you know, and I don't know if Jones is the best guy, but he has some talent. I mean, he's not an idiot. So if he listens to Belichick, I think they could be okay on there. I heard there's rumors about Belichick talk to Washington about coaching here a couple of years ago. Really? <laughs> yeah, that was out there this week. Somebody said, no way. Media. I just thought, <laughs> no, no. You no did, let me ask you this. Do you think Dan and – Bill Belichick can coexist in the same room. No, Belichick no. would tell him who he is and where he can go. <laughs> yeah, there'd be a Navy uh, Black Ops team showing up here. We'd, you know, we'd hit Dan's boat mm. <laughs> or something. Mm. No, I don't see that. I just saw the funny rumor. Uh, so eleven is the Giants. I like them taking Devonta Smith there. They like receivers there. So I, that's where I'm going with eleven. You've already taken them. Yeah, but I mean that that's a crowded wide receiver room at that point. Eh, you can't have enough targets. And okay. You have a decent quarterback. Nah. Or who are you taking then? Ah, I don't know. I, I I still think they need to work offensive line. I mean, this is where they could overdraft Darisol, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I could if they don't go receiver, I could see them going tackle. Because I mean, that was the thing a couple of years ago. The the Giants spent all that money on their offensive line and then they were trash. So, you know, and you're getting Saquon Barkley back this year. So you need to create holes for him. Um, you know, like I said, a wide receiver, that's a, that's a crowded wide receiver room and you just brought in Kenny Galladay. So, you know, you've already got what Slater and there's a couple guys on that roster that are decent. Um, I don't know. I, I, I think this is where they go. Darisol. I think they kind of, they kind of go a little bit high on Darisol, but I think they need to shore up that offensive line. All right. So you got 12 Philadelphia. There have been talked about everything there. Yeah. Philly. I, I would say Philly goes corner. Uh, I see them taking Sertan the, the second. Oh, all right. I got a Micah Parsons going there. I think, you know, he's, he's a really good player. And I think at that point, they just look for the best player. Uh, and I think he's it, and he'll help them. Hmm. So I'm, I'm a little bit of a stretch. I didn't have – about half my picks I didn't have a week ago. So uh, maybe I'm overthinking it, but I'll go there. And then uh, 13, the Chargers, they'll go Darisol. If he's okay. still there, they're going Darisol. Um, that's been a steady. 
So four teams a team I think can trade around. Who do you have going there? Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure that the Vikings are in love with being in 14, but another team I think that wants to if they do stay at 14, another team that needs to upgrade their offensive line. I could see them going Elijah Vera Tucker, the tackle from USC. Yeah, I have the same player. We didn't do this ahead of time, so no. Um, we never do anything ahead of time. No, there's no show prep. <laughs> 15. Uh, if it goes to Dallas, I think they take Sertain there. Okay. Uh, they could get the same player. They might have taken a 10 uh, or whatever. Um, yeah, they need, you know, they need help. So I would say if they can't get pissed, I think they go Sertain. Yeah, they need defensive help. It's, they're definitely – if they – if they stay at 10 and and Pitts is gone, they're going defense. If they trade, I do believe this New England trade, um, if they trade back to 15, they're still going to be able to get somebody on the defense that can help them right away. So I don't know who it'll be, but that's just my thought. 16, Arizona. Uh, I think the consensus pick with, with Arizona is definitely Horn, the, the corner out of South Carolina. That's who I have. I was thinking maybe an offensive lineman, but hmm. – Nah, I think Arizona goes defense. I think Arizona needs to needs to upgrade their defense. They lost their linebacker this year, uh, the one that uh, led all tackles and all that stuff. I uh, I think they need defensive help. They're pretty straight with offense. I think uh, you know Kyler Murray's got a couple targets out there, so I think they need to upgrade their defense. Seventeen is Vegas. I think if Parsons is there, they were. This is where him. Parsons goes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if he, he could, if not, if Parsons not there, I guess the best tackle at that point's uh, Alex Leatherwood of Alabama. So that's yep. my pick. Yep. Uh, with 18, we got the Dolphins again. I think this is where they get their defensive help. I'm going to say they go with uh, Davis from Kentucky. Yeah. I got the same one. And then we're at 19, our last pick <clears> this draft. <throat> if they go to Carolina, okay, then they got the offensive tackle. If at 19, some reason, Mac Jones is still on the board, uh, I don't think he will. I think they go Mac Jones. And if they're still at 19 and the other things didn't work out, uh, I don't know. (laughs) I think, look, I will say this. This is one of the first years that I can remember that I cannot tell you exactly what the team is going to do. You know, when they drafted Haskins, I I honestly didn't expect Haskins to be there, but you knew they were going quarterback and they were going to either get Haskins or Daniel Jones. You can kind of, you know, throughout the years, you can kind of tell, okay, this is where they're going to go. Now, obviously, the Trent Williams, the Trent Williams pick, honestly, I thought they were going to take Russell Okun that year. But anyway, this is the first year that I have no idea what the Washington football team is going to do. And I like that. I like that. There's no leaks coming out of the park. There's no, you know, somebody whispering to somebody at the Washington Post about who they're going to take. Um, I do believe that I think they're going either offensive guard or offensive tackle or uh, linebacker. I think those are the two set positions. I could see them taking, you know, Leatherwood if he's there, Darisol if he's there. Uh, Like you said, if they trade up and they get Sewell, that would be amazing. I would love that. But as far as linebackers, if if um, I'm going to butcher his name, but it's Koromoa, if he's there or if some reason Davis is there, I know they love D- Davis out of uh, Kentucky. I think they go linebacker or offensive tackle. I don't really think there's any other position uh, uh, where they go in the first round. There you go. There's our mock draft up to 19. I don't care after that. Yeah, after that, <laughs> I'm going to bed. After that, <laughs> after that, I'm starting to write for whoever. So, right. Um, Kentucky Derby, a lot of people know me from horse racing a lot of years. My Derby pick will be up Friday. So, uh, you're going to have to go on the Twitter, Rick Snyder's Washington, to get it. It's free. It's worth a million dollars if I'm right. I'm taking so, that one horse. There you go. All right, we're out of here. I'm Rick Snyder. And I'm Matt. And we'll see you soon. All righty. Thanks for listening to Seasons of Discontent on the Hogstye Network.